Good afternoon, plant lovers. I just thought I'd share with you how I am going to dry the my thyme leaves um, because my thyme has become really overgrown and I haven't been using it that much. So I thought it would be best to dry it out and share it with um, also family and friends as well. So it's really easy to do, to be honest with you. You just grab a bunch and then you go ahead and snip. Um, I should have used sacateurs here, but I was being lazy. I couldn't find them. So I just used scissors. Then I've just got a bit of twine. And all I'm going to do is just um, tie it up. Uh, which is pretty easy to do. Make sure it's tight so that when the thyme herbs dry, they don't like slip out or anything. And here I'm just going in to get the second bunch. But as you can see, I've bought a container of water because um, it, this is my first time, as I said, drying any kind of herb. And I am not sure if you're supposed to wash them or not. I'm not sure if it's best practice, but I've actually decided that I will be washing all of them, whether it's best practice or not, because these herbs are left outside and basically anything can, um, any kind of creature or or pest can get access to them so I'm washing them um, although in other videos I've seen I don't think they do wash them but I don't care that's what I'm doing so here I am just giving them a bit of a rinse in the water to make sure they are clean and now I'm just gonna tie them up just as I did the other one and then the next step is to take these herbs inside. So I have um, just hung up the um, thyme right here. I've just used a string I made a loop and found a hook. Um, what I'll do probably um, when it dries up a little bit more is put some kind of muslin bag over it. So first of all that will stop the insects coming through. And second of all, that will catch any of the thyme that might fall down or want to break off once it's dried and dehydrated. So um, that is my first ever attempt at drying herbs. Hope you found it useful.